In this episode of Bhakti Poetry, we present to you the lady poets, Andal, Avayar, and the Renaissance poet Gopalakrishna Bharati. There have been several Avayars who have been recorded in literature. Today, we present to you the latest of the Avayars. I hope you enjoy. Avayar, which means a respectable lady, is believed to have lived during the 10th century during the reign of the Choras. She has composed several popular poems like the Vinayaka Ragaval, Aati Chodi, Kondrai Vendan, Nalvari and Modurai. Anyone who was educated in the Tamil region would have studied and memorized Avayar's poem early in school. Her list of do's and don'ts useful for daily life was arranged in simple and short sentences. At a time when Tamil poets were showing a zeal to display their literary skills, they composed poems that were very complex to understand. Only after attaining a certain level of proficiency, one would be able to understand the meaning or appreciate the finer points of the literary maneuvers. However, Avaya wrote several one-liner compositions like Aati Chudi, that reached the masses much faster and inspired positive action. Some examples of the one-liners that away are composed are from Aati Chudi. Aram Shaya Virumbu Desire to share Aruvadu Shinam Anger is to be healed. As a young girl, she was deeply devoted to religion and literary pursuits and wanted to serve the people. Known for her intelligence and extraordinary beauty, she had many aristocratic suitors and pressure was brought to bear for arranging her marriage. While most young women would welcome such attention, Aviyar saw that as a threat rather than an opportunity. Her interests were philosophical and devotional and her life revolved around her love of Shiva. She did not want to make a man the center of that world. Faced with the impending marriage, that her family would surely arrange, Avayar wept and prayed before her chosen deity, Vigneshwara, to save her from this fate. Oh, my Lord, these people are only after my youth and beauty, but I want to dedicate myself to the goddess of learning and to the spread of learning. Please take away my youth and my beauty so that I can have peace and follow my chosen way of life. Ganesha heard her prayer and in the days that followed, her skin wrinkled, hair grayed, eyes dulled, and limbs stiffened. Looking at her reflection in the village well, the maiden was overcome with joy, knowing she was safe from the world, knowing that her loving Ganesha had graciously answered her prayers. One day, near the end of her life, it is said that Avayar was in the midst of her daily worship of her beloved Ganesha. She entered her trance even more deeply and sang the renowned hymn of praise entitled Vinayaga Agaval. This great song of religious devotion to Ganesha is sung to this day throughout the Tamil land at the time of Ganesha worship, particularly during the annual festival of Ganesha Chaturthi. Vinayagar Agaval is a very strong chanting invoking the Kundalini energy and demonstrating the tantric and siddha practices that was known to be prevalent during those times. Here we present a dance to the song sung by Raj and beautifully by Anupama Sajeev, daughter of Sajeev Shashidharan. Sheedakkalabachantamaraipoom Padachilambum palavisaipada Unnaraiknyanum Kuntu kiladayum Vannamarangil Valandayakkeripa Pedai vayurum perum parakodum Vedamugamum Vilangu sinduramum Anjakaramum Angusha pashamum Nenjir kudigonda Neelamenium Nandravayum Nalirupuyamum Mundru Kandu Mumada Chuvaidu Irand Seviyum Ilangu Pon Mudium Tiranda Purinul Tigaruli Marbum Sopadam Kadanda Turiyamit Yana 
அற்புதமீன்ற கற்பக களிதே முப்பழ நுகரும் பூஷிக வாகனா இப்பொழுதென்னை ஆட்கொள்ள வேண்டி தாயா எனக்கு தானெழுந்தருளி மாயா பிறவி மயக்க மறுத்து திருந்திய முதலைந்தெழுத்தும் தெளிவாய் பொருந்தவே வந்தன் உளந்தனில் புகுந்து குருவடிவாகி குவலயம் தன்னில் திருவடி வைத்து திறமிது பொருளென வாடா வகைதான் மகிழ்ந்தன கருளி கோடாயுதத்தால் கொடுவினை களைந்தே புவட்டா உபதேசம் புகட்டி என் செவியில் தெவிட்டாத ஞான தெளிவையும் காட்டி ஐம்புலன் தன்னை அடக்கும் உபாயம் இன்புரு கருணையின் இனிதன கருளி கருவிகள் ஒடுங்கும் கருத்தினை அறிவித்து இருவினை தன்னை அறுத்திருள் கடிந்து தலமொரு நான்கும் தந்தன கருளி மலமொரு மூன்றின் மயக்கம் அறுத்தே ஒன்பது வாயில் ஒரு மந்திரத்தால் ஐம்புலக் கதவை அடைப்பதும் காட்டி ஆராதார தங்குச நிலையும் பேராநிறுத்தி பேச்சுரையறுத்தே இடை பிங்களையின் எழுத்தறிவித்து கடையிற் சுழுமுனை கபாலமும் காட்டி மூன்று மண்டலத்தின் முட்டிய தூணின் நான்றெழு பாம்பில் நாவில் உணர்த்தி Now it's September 2021, isn't it? Three months from now is the Tamil auspicious month of Margari devoted to the worship of Lord Krishna. During the month of Margari, devotees across the world recite a set of 30 verses called Tirupavai written by Saint Andal. Today's presentation is about Andal and Tirupavai. We give a simple explanation of these 30 verses to a set of dance and enactments explaining the meaning of these verses. But before we go ahead, let me explain to you the story of Andar. Andar was discovered as a baby by Peri Aravar, her foster father, in his garden in the temple town of Sri Villiputur in Tamil Nadu. Peri Aravar was a priest in the local Krishna temple. His daughter Andal grew up with intense devotion for Lord Krishna, imagining herself to be a Gopika waiting to wed the Lord one day. Peri Aravar used to make a flower garland to adorn the Lord and take it to the temple every day. Little did he know that his naughty daughter used to adorn the garland stand in front of the mirror and admire her reflection imagining to be a bride wedding the Lord. One day when Peri Arava took the garland out he noticed a strand of hair amidst the flowers. He suspected it to be Andal and came home and severely scolded his daughter. That night Lord Krishna came in his dreams and instructed him to take the garland to the temple only after Andal had worn it. To this day, Saint Andal is revered and is the only female saint among the 12 Alvar saints of South India. Now let us move on to get a glimpse of these uh, Tirupavai Pasurams, which is essentially poetry. Andal wrote these Pasurams into three sections. The first section has a set of five verses. In these verses, Andal announces her intent to offer a month-long penance in the worship of Lord Krishna. Today we present the first Pasuram, Margaret Tingal, presented to you as a dance visualization by Aparna Nair, our Tripoli Bachmet Radhika Sajid's daughter. 
Asuram 1 Margaret Tingle is rendered by Sunita Subramaniam in her melodious voice. Both Sunita and Aparna resides in Dallas, US. requires a team, right? So what little girl Andal did is she collected a group of 10 girls, her age Kanyas and enticed them to join in the worship of Lord Krishna. So in the next 10 verses she describes how she goes to each girl's house, wakes them up, telling them a story of Lord Krishna, imploring them to join in the worship of the Lord. Today we present eight beautiful ladies enacting Pasuram number no. six, Kullum Silambina Khan. They are Shubha, wife of Sergeant Warrior from Applied Electronics, followed by the spouse of two mechanical guys, Deepa, wife of Hare Krishna, and Vinita, wife of Satish. These CET 93 spouses are ably joined by two of her computer science batchmates, Sunita and Santhya, from Dallas and New Jersey respectively. Two civil pairs are there which is Rama Rajkumar from Mumbai and Pravita KK who has made Dubai her home. The Tripoli co contribution comes from Michael Nair who resides in Bangalore. Uh, the song is recited by Sunita and Michael together. <laughs> Pullum silam bina kaan Pullarayan koilil Vellai vili changin Pedarubam kettilai o Pillai yelundi rai Pemulai nanjundu Kalla chaga Kaloshi Vella Karavi Tuil Amanda Viti Nai Vella Karavi Tuil Amanda Viti Nai Ulat Kund Muni Vagalum Yogi Galum Mella Yerind Hari in the Piraragam Mella Yerind Hari in the Piraragam Ulam Pogund Kulinde Nurin Bab 
Gopalakrishna Bharati, born in Tamil Nadu in the year 1810, was a Tamil poet and a composer of Carnatic music. He composed more than 1000 independent krithis along with a katha kalakshebam in Nandanar Charitram. Gopalakrishna Bharati lived life as a celibate doing yoga and embracing no particular sect. 
Nandanar Charitram was a great gift of Gopalakrishna Bharati. It describes how a Harijan in the form of Saint Nandanar visited Tiruppungur at a time where upper caste folks while holding reign of temple services denied temple entry privileges to the untouchables. At the command of the deity in Tiruppungur, the bull Nandi which had blocked the entrance moved to the site to allow Nandanar to see the Shivalinga from outside the temple. The composition in Nandanar Charitram describes the saint's journey from Tiruppungur to Chidambaram along with 3000 Dikshitars and how he finally attained union with the Lord by fire. Another one of Gopalakshna Bharati's compositions is the song Natanam Adinar. This song Natanam Adinar in Ragam Vasanta is a tribute to Lord Nataraja of Chidambaram and describes the blissful dance of Lord Shiva. The references to the story of Agastya, Tillai or Chidambaram and the Sollukattu Swaras make this dance energizing, interesting and beautiful. It is a celebration of Shiva, the cosmic dancer, who balances creation and destruction. Natanam Adinar Vegunagarigamagave Natana Sabail Ayananda Natanam Adinar Vegunagarigamagave Natana Sabail Ayananda Natanam Adinar Vegunagarigamagave Natana Sabail Ayananda With this, we come to the end of the second episode of Bhakti Poetry as part of the Tamil Poetry series. We hope to be back soon in future as the concluding episode of this series with contemporary poets whose works continue to enrich the modern Tamil cinema. Thank you.